Hi there. Today I got a call from our lovely lady called Christina and she was had a little dilemma and her dilemma was that she's doing some photo editing uh, for a photographer from what I understand uh, who just done a wedding and she'd converted all the images and, and resized them to 6x4 but instead of saving a copy of them saved over the originals and now the customer want, wanted some bigger images. They, they, you know, not everyone wants to see their wedding photos in just six by four. Some people want, you know, nice big twenty by thirty um, prints from their wedding. So if you've got an issue, what to do? Because they've been resized, and you know, the quality obviously is going to be an issue for enlarging them. So when I was speaking to Christina, I mentioned that there is a couple of uh, pieces of software out there uh, that can help with enlarging software and making it high quality, like maintaining the, the quality and integrity of the images. So today in this sort of video newsletter, I just wanted to uh, show all of you, uh, all of my subscribers, these two pieces of software very quickly and you can try them out yourself uh, if it's something that you're interested in or if it's something that you have a need for and even if it's not it's just something that you'll know a little bit more about now okay so first one we're gonna have a you know quick look at is genuine fractals 5 now if you read the little quote here it says the prints I made using genuine fractals startled me those artifacts and jaggies that I thought would occur due to over enlargement limitation uh, due to uh, over enlargement limitations assumed by file size were simply not there so you know if you believe the quote it sounds pretty impressive uh, it is pretty impressive software they have a demo there um, that you can try out uh, and you can go through they have some examples as well so click for a larger view um, okay so So, okay, so here, here's a good example as well. So you've got normal Photoshop bicubic smoother method, and then on the right here we've got genuine fractals. And you can see it's much sharper, uh, maintained a whole lot more detail. Looks really cool. Um, personally, I do not use this software. I just want to make that clear. Um, I've heard good things about it. You know, I, I know of people who have used it and enjoy it. But personally, I, I don't use it. So just letting you know that. Um, one that I do use and have used and, and quite like is PhotoZoom Pro. And it's a, a great piece of software, very similar. These two products are competitors. Um, so if you want to find this software, you can go to their website. It's ononesoftware.com and that should come up. And the other one is if you go to benvista.com and uh, you, or you can just type in Google Photo Zoom Pro 2 and it will come up and same with the other one if you type in genuine fractals 5 it'll come up in if you just type that in Google okie dokie so um, this one here Photo Zoom Pro pretty much exactly the same thing um, really simple to use here's a screenshot of the uh, interface and you pretty much load up your image you can also batch process images as well so for the, in the case of Christina where she had you know a whole set of wedding photos it could be you know four or five hundred images or maybe it's just a few hundred I'm not sure um, but you can batch process them as well to to enlarge them so you can just set things up and away you go really simple to use you set the DPI that want that you want to use um, you set the print size so the how big you want it to turn out and yeah away you go you choose your resize method and you can see them in real time as well so you can test out some different um, interpolation methods and yeah you choose the best one that's right for you so if you've got issues with enlarging your images you can use Photoshop which does a pretty good job um, using bicubic smoother but if you want something that's even better again then take a look at either genuine fractals or PhotoZoom Pro. They're the two that I would recommend and 
uh, yeah, try out. They both have free trials as well, so download them, try them out, and have a good day. All right, hope you've enjoyed this little short little video uh, video newsletter tip today, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.